Well, it's safe to say that all that glitters is not gold. Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes has been sentenced to more than 11 years in prison for defrauding investors out of millions. Okay, so come right in, let's dissect and analyze this trending gist. Welcome back, trending gist lovers. If you love celebrity gossip, pop culture, world news, and whatnot, this is the channel to be art. Subscribe and you come on in with dissect and analyze together. Don't forget to leave your comment and your thoughts in the comment section. All right, so the trending news is about Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes, the disgraced founder of health technology company Terranos, has been sentenced to 11 years in prison for the fraud after, after it was exposed for deceiving her Silicon Valley investors into funding her start up with a false promises the company the company gained worldwide recognition in 2013 following elizabeth's uh, claims she had invented a whoa are you serious <laughs> some people are just following her claims that she had invented a revolutionary blood testing kit that only requires small amount of blood and performed accurate results in as little as 20 minutes hmm. it turns out it was all a lie and her terranos company was a complete hoax used to swindle investors out of their pockets can you imagine some people seriously all their glitters is not gold this is the same person that was on forbes anyways let's keep going elizabeth who had Hmm. who had amassed about $4.5 billion net worth at the peak of her criminal activities was backed by her legal team who fought to have her serve a maximum, uh, a maximum sentence of 18 months, but prosecutors shot back, insisting that her arrogance throughout the trial and lack of acknowledgement in her wrongdoing deserve at least 15 years a judge ultimately ruled for her to serve 11 years elizabeth was also ordered to pay back 121,000 sorry 121 million dollars to 10 of tyrannos biggest investors including media proprietors uh, rupert Murdoch. The 38 years old legal team alongside her husband, William Evans, asked the judge for mercy, given that the convicted fraudster is currently pregnant with her second child. Man, that's not an excuse, okay? You should have thought about that when doing, doing your crime. So go to jail being pregnant. Anyways, pregnant with her second child. But even that wasn't enough to lessen her punishment in 2014 forbes famously named elizabeth one of the richest people in america a first she achieved through fraudulent tactics which she now said to face the hmm the repercussions for it now don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are all that glitters are not gold for sure